Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I have my first play with some new alcohol inks. I've got some Ranger alcohol inks, the alcohol blending solution and a gold mixative. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I do today. All the good and the bad of my first attempts with these fun inks. I held off for a long while getting them. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to, you know, jump on the bandwagon, but I'm very glad I have. They're a lot of fun. So starting off today with the colors you can see here, I'll quickly let you know I've used raspberry and sunshine and pool. And let me have a quick look at it's citrus, the green color. So then using the blending solution over the top and a straw, and pardon my head in the way, but I've got to get all that spread around. So they do tend to do some blending themselves, obviously, uh, with the blending solution particularly, but the straw just makes them move, blowing with, you know, through the straw onto them just makes for more movement. Sometimes I found it very hard to cover those little white bits you see. Once they became white and, and the ink didn't spread into those areas, I found it difficult to uh, get any ink to sort of um, stay there and cover it. So you'll see that on a few of the examples that I do. There are these little white uh, splotches that just tended to be part of the finished product. I did know today with my uh, play that I was going to cut these up using die cuts. Uh, I'd already selected some dies, lots of old dies that I've had for years that I wanted to drag out and use again. So I've already got a pile of them off to the side and that's why I'm doing these smaller pieces and I'll be die cutting everything that I make today. So. Moving on to the second piece now, and I've got pool and then raspberry. And this one is, let me double check, purple twilight. Here's the gold mixative. It does have a mixer ball inside, so you do need to give it a good shake. And then dropping the gold all over. And for this one, I'm then adding the blending solution and blowing with my straw again, getting that gold mixative all blended in and making sure that the colors all sort of blend and move. As I said, this is my first time experimenting. So you're really seeing it from uh, the get-go here, the good and the bad, what worked and what didn't. And I certainly do have one example that I overworked at the end you'll see and I made it into a card still. Uh, I saved it, but um, I should have stopped about five minutes before I did. So um, a little bit like um, brush shows and things like that. Sometimes you just get a bit carried away and you don't know where to stop or when to stop. And I certainly had that experience with the alcohol inks, but generally pretty happy with how each piece turned out. As you can see, the white bits are there again. I did find it hard to um, cover those. So I'm going to go back in now and just drop a couple of little drops right into those spots. Just another attempt to cover up those bits so that there's more of a complete colored piece of UPO. And it tended to work okay doesn't um, move as much when you don't have the blending solution with it, right? It, unless you put on a, a heap of ink, perhaps. I have watched some people and, and they do use a lot of ink. Um, then it might blend more, but um, certainly you need to add a bit of blending solution. Now, this is methylated spirits or metho as we call it in Australia. My Australian viewers will know it well. Um, it's a very handy cleaning product that we use in our homes. And I know American viewers, you will have seen people using, um, blend, uh, what do you call it? Rubbing alcohol, or it's called isopropyl alcohol or IPA. Um, we don't have that in Australia. That is not a product that's easy to get. 
in Australia. So metho has some similar properties. So today I've put some metho into a bowl and I've got a very old brush and this is what I'm using over the top now. This was just another experiment, just seeing how it would work. And yes, the metho is not too bad. It does certainly blend it. Um, I probably will use a better brush next time. That was a pretty scratchy old brush. I probably need to dedicate something a little bit softer uh, and nicer for this job. But um, anyway, it gave me a different look and it certainly did um, mix the gold mixative with the colours and, and then you get a different look again when you drop on some more of the um, inks over the top. So for the Aussie girls, Metho is not a bad addition to your alcohol inks arsenal to help you achieve some different looks. Just using it again here now from the brush to mix those last little drops of the gold mixative there just to get them blended a little bit better. And another piece is finished and all ready for drying. Now this one I did off camera and I wasn't really very happy with the gold just sitting there in blobs on the top. So it's dried now but I'm coming back to it and I've decided I'm going to use the metho and um, just rework it and see what happens. This is the one that is a fail. I can honestly say I um, got my brush in the metho and I'm moving the ink around and blowing it with the straw and there is a point that I get to where I actually am happy with it. Um, not yet, but I'll tell you. <laughs> and unfortunately I go past that point. So I needed to know when to stop and I didn't. So I'm not, yeah, I'm sort of looking at it now thinking, oh, it's looking all right, okay. So it sort of looks better than it did originally. And at least I've got the whole sheet covered now, whereas before it was just the corners. So adding some more colors, trying to get some more um, a bit more of a mixture of colours in there. Back to the metho, I've got a little eyedropper and I'm just dropping on um, some metho there. And you can see it sort of lightens it and moves the colours. And no, I'm not, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, and there's some dark spots there that I'm going to have to um, soak up with a tissue. Sorry about my hair in the way. <laughs> um, so it's, it's, it's not too bad. It's getting there. I, I add the gold mixative and it's probably about this point I should have stopped because it was not looking too bad. That's not a bad piece. I could have used for some die cut pieces and I didn't stop. So I'm adding some more colours and soaking up some of the darker areas that are just getting a little bit too muddy, as can happen. And I really should have just put it aside to dry now. But I didn't like the way the gold was just sitting on the top and I decided I was going to go all over it with the metho. And yeah, that was not a good idea. <laughs> so as I said, I'm showing you the good and the bad. This one was still usable because it doesn't turn out too badly, but I liked it probably a few minutes ago compared to what it ends up with or looking like at the end. You'll have to tell me what you think too. And um, yeah, these things happen. Take the good with the bad. Try and use, you know, salvage what you can. So that's pretty much what I ended up with. Um, I'm just trying to get some of the heavier drips off by um, soaking them up with the paper towel there. And um, yeah, that's how we finish up and I end up using that piece uh, with some gold um, stenciling over the top which turns out okay. So here are all my pieces as you can see. They're all dried out now and um, just showing you a bit of a close-up. This one I didn't show you how I made it 
and it's just got the spots on it from the serviette I'm showing you that there. I used a product on that one called Detol which is an Australian product with some uh, properties that I thought might be like the IPA, the rubbing alcohol in America. Uh, the problem with the Detol was it didn't dry well, it was very sticky and I couldn't use it. So that was a fail. Anyway, <laughs> back to the ones that did work. <laughs> Um, this is a waffle flower feather uh, from an old set that I'm using here to cut out two feathers and I've already cut out thanks with an MFT Dynamics uh, die and here's some little paper smooches uh, leaves they're, um, la they're called paper smooches the large leaves set and I'm just cutting them from around the outside of this um, piece here with it's got quite a bit of um, leftover ink on it and I can get the leaves all cut out of that and be able to use them all falling down my card front so just die cutting everything this is the one that didn't work well okay so this is the last one and here I am using some, some gold metallic uh, embossing paste from Imagine Crafts. So I end up with five cards from all my alcohol inked pieces. This first one with, with the large thanks from MFT and a Tim Holtz wood grain stencil used on it. Uh, this one I used an old wood grain embossing folder. This one uses the Lawn Fawn stitched wood grain die which is new and I used the big halo hello on these two cards uh, from poppy stamps so as you can see five cards some better than others some backgrounds that I really liked but all in all a lot of fun and I can certainly recommend grabbing yourself some alcohol inks and just having a play